Looking to the future, it's all about transformation and investing uh, increased capacity in South Africa. And this is part of a major expansion plan. Uh, we're spending somewhere over 500 million rand on this particular expansion. But last year, for example, we unveiled uh, Boxburg, where we're spending over a billion rand in terms of capital, uh, capital expansion. So this is part of a major investment. And uh, I think it does demonstrate our commitment not only to South Africa, but to the people of South Africa, most importantly, enhancing the lives of many people who will now have uh, jobs and job creation. So for us, it's a sustainable investment for the long term. And I think uh, it shows a commitment not only to South Africa, but also for us helping lift Africa, which is part of our global strategy. So, uh, yeah, we're very delighted that we'll be able to do this today. And uh, I think this is going to be a world-class facility. I know it's going to be a world-class facility. It's state-of-the-art, the design is state-of-the-art. It's environmentally friendly. Uh, it's got very low levels of energy, uh, which I've uh, seen and read. And it's going to have uh, zero waste at landfill, so that it's already uh, environmentally friendly, which is fantastic. And listening to your commitment, uh, that's great as a partner. So I think we share that commitment. Unilever has a long and stellar history in South Africa, as alluded to by previous speakers. And my department has a long-standing relationship with Unilever. In my opening remarks, I've referred to yet another Unilever project. Recently, we have supported Unilever with incentives in support of three major projects valued at just over $2 billion. Such investments clearly demonstrate the confidence in South Africa as an investment destination as well as a gateway into the African continent. In this regard, the Department of Trade and Industry is committed to supporting companies like Unilever with their strategies to maintain their strong momentum in developing markets in Africa as well as within South Africa.